going on, MMA fans? I'm back to do my UFC 92 review video. I'm going to go into the fights I did predictions on. Um, this card definitely didn't go the way um, I know that I, I looked at it. Um, probably not the way that the other guys here in the MMA YouTube community looked at it. So um, let's go ahead and dive right into this. Um, first fight of the night, Czech Congo taking on Mustafa Al-Turk. Um, Congo looked really impressive. One thing I mentioned um, in um, my prediction video, of course, was that uh, if Congo came in, well, Congo really needed to work on his wrestling in this fight. Um, this would be a tough test for him. But he looked solid, had good takedown defense. Um, Al Turk kept trying to go for high singles, wasn't able to get it. Um, Congo had a good one two combination that actually dropped Al Turk uh, later in the round. Finishes it with some vicious elbows and hammer fist and wins via first round TKO. Um, and if Congo keeps looking like this, um, keeps looking impressive, the sky's the limit for him. Um, he's probably going to be in the line here. Um, after probably his next fight if he wins for a title shot. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, next fight, Vanderlei Silva uh, taking on uh, Quentin Rampage Jackson. Um, uh, both guys come out um, very, very tentative. Um, this was one of the reasons why I thought this fight possibly could go to a decision. But don't, you know, why should, why should um, anyone be surprised when you see Vanderlei or Rampage knock the other guy out. I mean, that's just... Styles make fights. They always do. Um, and when these guys fight, there's always um, explosiveness. There's always that one flurry that the fight could end. And that's what we got in this fight. Um, both guys tentative. Vanderlei had some good leg kicks, some good combinations. Rampage, very, very cautious. Was very um, uh, patient in the pocket. Um, there was a quick flurry after Vanderlei threw a leg kick where Vanderlei threw a one-two combo, kind of left his chin out there, and Rampage came across with a left hook, caught him flush, knocked him out, and fight done. Quentin Rampage Jackson wins via first-round knockout. Um, <clears throat> Rampage either goes on to fight um, for the title uh, right away, or he gets the winner of if Lyoto Machida wins. And uh, My guess would be... An, you know, we've never seen Machida get a title shot, so this is just speculation. But if Machida wins and goes on um, to fight Evans, the winner of Evans and Machida would be the most logical choice for Rampage to fight. But we'll see how the UFC plays that out. Uh, next fight, C.B. Dalloway taking on Mike Masenzio. Um, uh, Masenzio had his leg taped on the left side, if I remember right. Um... And I don't know if it was due to injury. Um, of course, they didn't really, you know, state that, or he was trying to get more friction for, you know, submissions off of his back. But um, nonetheless, um, he catches Dalloway early in the round, um, in the first round, actually rocks him pretty good. But Dalloway comes back, gets inside of Masenzio's um, uh, guard, gets the mount, transitions to the back mount when Masenzio rolls, flattens him out, pounds him out, and um, CB Dalloway wins via first round TKO. Um, looked very impressive. Um, was able to recover real well. Um, hopefully his next fight, they're going to give him a little bit of a tougher test, I think, um, uh, as far as a step up in competition, but we'll see how that plays out as well. All right, next fight, um, one of the co-main events, um, Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira um, taking on Frank Mir for the Interim Heavyweight Championship. Um, man, uh, this fight kind of left you um, speechless, and what came out of my mouth was kind of funny because... I remember after Pride 33, and if most of you that used to watch um, Jeremy, the old MMA analyst, after Pride 33, he came on and went, holy fucking shit. And I said the exact same thing after this fight. Um, Frank Mir came out and looked the best he's ever looked in his career. Um, his boxing was crisp. He outboxed Nogueira. That's a big, big, big thing. Uh, one. Two, his cardio looked so much better. He didn't even look gassed after the first round, which, go back to his fight with Tim Sylvia. After he broke Tim Sylvia's arm, he was gassed. Look at his fight with Dan Christensen. Gassed. This fight, he did not look gassed. He had, it looks like he had a hell of a training camp, which, that's great. It's great to see that. It's great to see Frank Mir living up to his potential, because the way he's looking right now, and, uh, of course, I'm going to go into how the fight, um, uh, progress here in just a second, but if he continues to look like he did in this fight and progresses um, that way, he's going to be a scary dude at heavyweight, without a doubt. Um, and he definitely um, proved a lot of people wrong 
I, I was very, very surprised. Um, I'm sure that as well as not only you, the watcher, but it's the guys here in the MMA YouTube community as well. But um, nonetheless, um, uh, Nogueira came out. He had some good leg kicks, some good combinations, some good jabs. But Mir had this this really, really good um, combination he kept throwing, and Nogueira just didn't seem to have an answer for it. It was a one-two uppercut combination. Um, the first or second time that he knocked down Nogueira, he actually hit him with that combination and knocked him down. He knocked him down twice in the first round. Um, he had some good leg kicks, good body kicks, Mir did. In the second round, he um, rocked Nogueira with a left hook and then another left jab, dropped him, finished him on the ground, pounded him out, and Mir wins via a second round TKO and is the first guy to ever stop Nogueira. Um, absolutely impressive. He's now the interim heavyweight champion. Um, Wow. Um, definitely proved a lot of people wrong. Um, Mir had the better boxing um, in this fight, which was a surprise. Um, but, you know, that's MMA. Anything can happen. That's the beauty of this sport. So, you know, really, when you watch these fights, you get awestruck because you think that it's going to go that way. But then again, why should you be awestruck? Because that's that's the beauty of this sport. That's why we watch it, is for the, you know... The shock value of wow, anything can happen, and definitely in this fight, you know, we got surprised. So, um, those of you that thought uh, Nogueira would win, um, but uh, nonetheless, um, Mir is going to go and fight Brock Lesnar, and hopefully that will uh, be an entertaining fight. Uh, I'm not going to go into that fight, of course, it's for another day, but nonetheless, um, Frank Mir is the interim heavyweight champion. All right, next fight: Rashad Evans, Forrest Griffin for the light heavyweight championship. Um, Forrest was really, really good in the first and second round. He had good combinations, uh, good uh, inside-outside leg kicks, um, good body kicks. He had a couple good body shots as well. Um, Rashad was able to check the kicks, wasn't very aggressive in the first or second round. Um, he had a couple good jabs. He came forward a couple times, had a couple good leg kicks. Um, in the second, excuse me, in the second, in the third round, um, I can't remember if Forrest slipped or Rashad caught one of his kicks and took him to the ground, but nonetheless, um, Rashad gets inside of Forrest's guard, starts raining down some shots, um, rocks Forrest, he moves from half guard, kind of to side control standing, throws some vicious, vicious um, uh, uh, left-handed shots, um, standing left hooks to Forrest's face, um, putting Forrest out, Rashad Evans is now the uh, light heavyweight champion. Um, He's going to fight either Rampage or, or he's going to fight Machida next. I, I, depending on how those uh, the Machida fight plays out and depending on how the UFC wants to uh, put that fight together with either Rampage or Machida. But um, Rashad Evans um, looked impressive in the third round. Um, was able to do very, very well inside of guard and to transition to side uh, control um, and then pound out Forrest. Um, I really don't know what happened with Forrest, necessarily. I know a lot of people are questioning that. Is what happened between the first and second round um, that Forrest all of a sudden just, the fight changed. I mean, there again, that's MMA for you. Anything can happen. Um, Rashad got inside a guard, started raining some good shots, got Forrest uncomfortable, rocked him a little bit, and then finished the fight. Um, Forrest had the momentum in the first and second round, but Rashad capitalized in the third and he is now the light heavyweight champion. So congratulations to him. Congratulations to Frank Mir. Um, they both look very, very impressive in their fights. Um, I'm going to be back here in the next couple days to do a video about the most um, underrated and overrated fighters in uh, each division in the UFC. i got to get that done. Um, K1 card, definitely going to get that done here in the next couple days. Uh, UFC 93, got to get that done as well. Um, and then, of course, I'll have my Affliction card, which will be down the line. I'm done, uh, so check that out, um, and uh, on that note, you guys, have a great day.